In business, a memorandum of understanding has been signed between Need Oil Refining and Petrochemicals Company Limited and the host community after encroachment by land grabbers despite the Lagos State Government allocation of the said hectares of land to the company uh, Shekumba Ejiri in Ikusi Ejiri local government uh, council area of uh, Lagos State in April 2014. Executive Chairman of the company, Mrs. Elizabeth Akintonde, expressed concerns over the spate of land grabbing in the state while urging government to take urgent action to address this ugly trend. Sunday Binibo attended the signing ceremony and filed in this report. That was the presentation of check to Sekumba, Arugu, and Ererufu communities as part of the unveiling of the Mid Oil 3 in 1 Investment Opportunities Program and part of the company's corporate social responsibility to host communities to foster cordial relationships and create an enabling business environment for the takeoff of the proposed Mid Oil Refining and Petrochemicals Company Limited. The leadership of the communities could not hold back their joy. If somebody can leave his own side and come to this side, that means he's, she's a God sent. To bring development, transformation, empowerment, and many things like that to our community. I said, wow, I said, this is fantastic. For the company, the focus is to hit the ground running as it has secured an investment of $5 billion from three consortiums of foreign investors for the takeoff of the refinery project in July. Going forward, we are looking forward to the groundbreaking of the refinery site itself on the 12th of July uh, this year. We are also looking forward to the commencement of the construction of the refinery site. At the, at the same time, the work, work has started on the Serene City estate, uh, housing estate. We have agreed to expose through this community, Mid Oil Community Forum, all those of them who are doing these illicit uh, sales of land. So we, this, we believe, will help the community and Mid Oil to have very good relationship. Investment in Mid Oil Refining and Petrochemical Company has a lot of advantages, provides job opportunities for Nigerians, conserves foreign exchange. Siri City is going to be a project for which is going to be one piece of the one percent, one of the largest piece of real estate to ever launched in Lagos. The refining when completed is expected to produce a hundred thousand barrels per day which will help in bridging the gaps in the supply chain of petroleum products across the country and create jobs for the teeming population. President Bolati Numbu says no stone will be left in turn in solving the lingering power crisis in the country. Energy theft estimated billing and of course vandalization of power infrastructure. Chief of Staff to the President and former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femik Bajabi Amela, disclosed this at the inauguration at the of two 20 MVA injection substations in Surulere area of the state, which were installed by the Eco Electricity Distribution Company. Leadership of the KEDC says the project represents progress, empowerment, and promise of a brighter future for residents of Surulere and beyond. President has made an allocation of over 340 billion in the 2024 budget towards improving infrastructure in the power sector. President Sinumbu is also concerned about the cases of energy theft, estimated billing, and um, stealing of um, power infrastructure. Cit citizens must protect power infrastructure in their various communities as we expect the electricity distribution companies to address cases of estimated billing and pure poor meter distribution. This is to help solely get power. This project is costing close to 2.5 billion. And um, it is a special um, transformer because he has power fighting equipment in it. If there's a problem, it can be sorted out immediately. But at the code disco, our job is to make sure we give power to Lagos. And with this um, 2 by 20 MPA now, we are able to accept more pipes to the area. Because we feel that customers are priority 
I will make sure that we give our company customers the best and give them power in Lagos. The idea is to make sure that this happens all over our district, not just in Sulu alone. We are going to go to other parts of the district and make sure that this is done. This is our focus as a disco. I'm trying to give back to Lagos State. Today we have commissioned two by 20 MBA for school environments, and um, this uh, power transformers is towards improving power supply for the consumers of um, school area. And as a code disco, what we believe in doing is to provide and to distribute power, quality power, to meet the needs of the citizens. This is what our promise is in service delivery, and we, in so doing, we also promise that um, we empower quality of life on both commercial and residential area of our school area. Meanwhile, the stock market closed negatively in various sectors after many investors rushed to have SK 